Oh well. So I think the Deerwood Cheese Goober video from earlier today will do on the channel. I don't know. It's a weird one because I don't think Deerwood is like super interesting. The build didn't go super well, but Cheese Goobert is kind of cool. I like Cheese Goobert. And who knows, maybe people really like Deerwood and I just don't know it. Okay, 72 diamond. The primary goal for today beyond getting to 600 subscribers, hit the subscribe button, is to get this number to go up. Go up, to go up, to go up. Buy everything that's on sale plus the stone. Do we ever consider this spike? But not for full price. I'm leaning more and more, in my head at least, into the idea of Claws of Attack. Claws of Attack feels like one of the weapons that could work with Falcon Blade. But you don't need it early anyways. We would always roll. I still have a bunch of money. Okay. Things to think about. Things to think about. I'm gonna buy this one. I got regen on sale. I could sell this, this by the pig. I could just take the garlic. I'm going to just take the garlic. I do kind of want this sword. It's not on sale. It's not a priority. But if I find the second whetstone, it becomes a priority. Common, common. Okay. I was thinking about selling to buy it, but why am I selling things that are useful to buy something that is not useful? It's almost useful. Second whetstone would make it useful. They don't have much. Cool. Good first fight. Click the button. Banana on sale. I don't think I'm going to take the shovel. But I'm not completely sure. I could get shovel right now. And I do have the banana for it. I'm going to say no. And keep looking for the whetstone. Take the speed bag. Oh. Speed bag is good. Is that good enough to let me put this sword in? I think it is. We could do shell totem. Not really a thing that I want to do. Do I roll once more? I'm gonna roll once more. I'm looking for that whetstone. Or a bag. There's the whetstone. Cool. I don't have a good four gold sale. I could sell the hammer and the regen, but that's a lot to sell. We don't need to get this this turn. What else would I change? I would put this into the speed bag. Oh. Stamina is a little bit of an issue. I'm gonna switch these for this turn. But then why am I even using this sword? No, that doesn't make sense. I just don't really wanna be speeding this up. Do I have to be speeding it up? I could turn this bag vertical. Is that better? I think it is. Okay. Is it? Okay, so we want this broom to be right there. This sword to be right there. This is supposed to go like that. I could scoot everything up. If I scoot everything up, I think the hammer could still go into the speed bag. This needs to go like that. We are not making Shell Totem. We're getting the whetstone. We're winning the video game. This is good. 
What about crossblades? No. Go away, crossblades. What about magic torch? Probably no. But maybe. <laughs> magic torch is interesting. It uses a lot of stamina. And it wants mana. Just to do a little bit of scaling damage. Get out of here, Shell Totem. I could get a shovel now. Shovel attacks pretty slow. Oh. Ah. It would also mean losing this round, I think. Second banana is not really worth selling two gold of stuff for. Now I kind of want to be speeding the sword up again. Only kind of. Next round, I'm not going to want to speed up the sword. Interesting. But I'll want to speed up the hammer. I think we're good. The main takeaway. I think we're good. Especially if we can get their health to drop before they gain empower. Before they gain any more empower. Two empower isn't that bad. It's the same as two whetstones. Oh, I'm out of stamina though. Three blind versus three blind. One spike. We've done it. We win. Three wins. It's a good shop. That is a good shop. So one of the items that I said I was thinking about is Claws of Attack. This could get me the Claws of Attack. With 10 gold, I can buy this, this, this. Looking pretty good to me. Things I have to think about. Changing up this bag. Yeah, thought about it. Okay, how to position this armor to make sense. That's the other thing that I have to think about. And get the banana in. Getting the banana in might be the tricky part. I don't really want to speed up this sword. I do want to speed up the banana. And I do want to fit this armor. Crap! The armor is the problem. It actually worked better with the bag the other way, I think. Maybe there's another way that I'm missing. Wait, that's pretty good. Oh, except the banana wants to be sped. This uses very little stamina. I don't know if I need to speed the banana. It would be good to speed it up, but it doesn't feel necessary. Three gold. Buy the things on sale, put this in the armor, good to go. So starting armor is pretty good right now. 45, yeah. Let's see if we have any stamina problems. In battle rage, I might. Getting a stamina bag or two would help. If I even go into battle rage. They are putting poison on me. Okay, we're in battle rage. Crap, I don't have defense in battle rage. That's why we're making this armor good. Crap. Okay, the potion also works. What am I looking for? Gloves. Potion is good. I don't think I take blueberries. Oh, but I want to do mixed things with gloves. I need three pairs. I might just sell this. The regen is good. We're round five, so don't try and hold out until I infill. Do I roll here? I think I do. I've got four gold after I roll. That's enough gold. There's another whetstone. There's a sand. There's a armor potion. Right now, I could trigger that armor potion. Hmm. 
but can I position it in a way that makes sense? Because I still want to combine up this. This could move. This can move wherever it needs to go. That would work. Okay, I'm gonna sell the spike. We got the spike on sale. So the thought is, I drop to 50% HP. This triggers this, which gets me 30 armor, and this triggers at the same time, which gets me 70 armor, which causes this to trigger again, which gets me 100 armor. And we heal 12 of the 30 damage that I do to myself. Holy crap, 30 damage almost kills me. Almost. Not quite. Shiny... Shiny shell versus sand. I think they're about equally useless. Cool. Start the battle. I don't like this coal being in the armor anymore. But I can't fit it in the bag. Like, I would rather get into battle rage sooner. Because right now I'm just using up stamina. Well, I just use up stamina in battle rage too. I guess it doesn't make much difference. Crap, they're scaling, but they're scaling such a crappy item, they win. These shell totems. I need to give them more consideration. This... What about that axe? What about the axe? The axe is better than the broom. What am I doing with the broom? It takes up the same amount of space. The axe is just better than the broom. Well, the cooldown's worse. Huh. Thinking about it. Also, I would like to double proc this potion if I could instead of this po potion. Okay. I think it's the oil lamp. Oh yeah, and then I can light the coal, which is pretty good. I just don't know if I should reserve this. Round six. Sells for two. Why am I scooting things over? I do not know. Yeah, I see no reason not to switch off of the broom. Now, it might be worth it to do this, to do this. Like, normally, this sword is not that good, but it becomes a lot better with the oil lamp. So it's worth speeding it up. Okay. Super sword, molten dagger, that's pretty scary, and armor. That's pretty scary. What I have scales a little bit, though. Oh, it's out of stamina. Yes. So I'm guessing most of my damage came from this hero sword. I could have been putting this onto the broom. Open the logbook. Most of my damage did come from the hero sword. Forging hammer did a decent amount. More than I would expect. They did more damage than me. But I had potions and this armor. I was hoping to see another option. I see the dragon egg, but it's really expensive. And it's not that good. 
I wonder if I leave out the hammer at that point. Could I leave out the hammer? I could also slow back down this sword. Because it is worth it to speed up the... Or to put this onto the axe. Even though the axe is a slower attacking weapon, it's just good to have all of my stamina concentrated on this one item if I don't have enough for both. And we saw last run, I don't really have enough for both. So instead, if I did this, then I do have enough for both, I think. Which means that this should go back onto the sword. Game is weird. Things I would like. I would like. Oh, I could speed up the lamp. This is kind of a compromise. I would like that to go there, this to go here, this to go here. There is a blueberry. Do I have any consideration of doing a mana build or a lamp build? Because if I did, blueberry would be one of the things I would do. Or deer wood. I don't think so. Still looking for gloves. Now is a pretty good time to find gloves. The blueberry is calling to me. Not that good. There's a genie lamp. I don't think genie lamp's calling to me. This sword does kind of work with hammer, but not really. Kind of. Brass knuckles, hammer, sword, sell the axe. Probably not. Buy the bag. Ooh. Rolling again is questionable, but I want to see items. Cheese is pretty good. It's very expensive. Pan on sale. This is when pan starts to become better. Legendary 15%. Like, for two gold, it might be worth buying this and holding it. If I could get... If I could get... Pan to go off with cheese. I'd need golden pan, so you have to find the stamina potion. That could be stronger than axe. This would become weird. Oil lamp. I do have a blood thorn. I don't think I can do these. This one, this one, this one. Okay. Round seven. So what do I have for crafted items? One item, two items, three items, four items. Gonna get the gloves, but I can't really craft them. And get the bag, get this on sale. Start the battle. I don't have quite enough defense, but we're close. I have a good amount. I just want to be able to double trigger this. Finding boots, especially on sale, would make it so that I could double trigger this one instead of the armor potion. God, they have so many spikes. I should just go with the spike whip. I always want to turn into the chain whip, though. Chain whip is questionable. Another option would be this pack leader. I think it's between these two right now. Without box of riches, blacksmith is a little bit tough. I have four items, but they're difficult to position well. The axe does not work super well with pack leader. Falcon blade wood. Pack leader in my mind is just a lot of RNG because you're trying to hit legendary dogs. You're guaranteed to hit one right away as long as I drag it into the bag. I don't know, it's pretty good, but I have a good amount of defense. I'm gonna take blacksmith. Blacksmith is questionable. Second armor potion. Pretty good. 
Okay. It's very expensive. And it's difficult to position the potions. The gloves don't do much for me right now. This armor potion gets me... It costs me 30 health. Oh, I don't even know if I can... I can double drink that. Pretty sure. Er, I mean, I can drink it. I would just regular drink it. Cause this one to go off twice. So, if I do that, it's only gaining me 30... No, it's double triggering this. It's getting me another 24 HP, 3 regen lens. I'm going to rearrange bags and be back in a second to decide which of these to buy first. Okay. We have tons of space. I think this potion is the priority. So this potion goes here, here, here. So now when I go into battle rage, we drink this potion once, which we trigger this. We trigger this when we drink the potion, which causes both of these to trigger, which causes this to trigger. Is there any chance that that kills me? No, we have 115 HP. We should be good. I will be at 57. And we're gaining the health. I'm pretty positive that cannot kill me. Pretty positive. I wonder if just having a ton of stone skins, you could die from it. That would be funny. I think I'm happy with everything. We've got four stars. Start the battle. Crap. They're going to be in battle rage forever. They're going to have tons of mana to scale this. They're getting in power right now. We have to kill them. At least we caught them before they had this, but they're too strong. Battle rage with this deer wood. They already do 30% damage reduction. With this armor, they're going to do 40% damage reduction. They're not using up all of their mana, but this thing is sped up. These gloves are crazy with the Deerwood Guardian. Just because of how long they're going to be going off for. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Second lamp. Interesting. Expensive. So I can't afford both. Or all of it. What am I putting the gloves on? The gloves can go on the axe. Can I get them to go axe banana? Also, it's kind of weird to put the gloves onto the axe. Huh. Kind of weird. I don't know if I can get this. I guess I can. It would be really hard to get this one to hit. It would be good. I think it's too much to pay for it. Buy the collar. I still need crafted items. This doesn't help me get them. What about that crown? Crown on sale without any mana. No. What about this? What about this? Would I ever sell the collar to get it? No, but I need it. This axe is not doing enough. It's weird that I'm spreading out the buffs from this and the glove. Hmm. Not getting another crafted item this turn is going to hurt. That's kind of why I want this gem box. So that at least the next turn I could get them. Okay. Chances of finding the gloves. What are they? How many hearts do I have? This is scary. Lost another. One heart crap. There's the gloves. It's too late. 
And this is going to be a rough round. This is going to be a rough round. The axe is weird. I would like the lamp to be hitting the axe. Or, not the axe, the sword. That almost works. Scoot the bags up. Three stars. Didn't I have four stars? Oh yeah, the potions have to come back down. I can do that. Axe fits. This is such a rough round. Am I selling this back for the gem box? Pretty sure I am. Belkin Blade is going to be here with one oil lamp. I wish I had a second. Gems are good to get. Look for fancy fencing rapier. Yeah. Hungry blade could work too, maybe. But fancy fencing rapier is the dream. They're getting me into battle rage quick. I think I win this one. Unless they hit 15. They did not hit 15. They're about to get a lucky pig. Next turn, they would get 15 because they'll have two more clovers. What round is this? Clover can go off as early as round 11. Good to know. This is a lot to pay. This one's decent. And double trigger the armor. I don't think decent's good enough at the moment. And I can find more chipped gems. Rolling is just good. Another of these. The boots are good. This is good. How much money? 13. 13, and right now we see 11 gold worth of stuff. Hmm. If I put this up here, this down here, this right here, this right here, this right here. Sword is speeding up everything that wants to be sped up. I guess we can speed that up as well. We got up to five. Should I can't put this inside of the sword because I need it for the anvil. Need it. I could still find, if I find a blue chip gem, that would be kind of good. This bag is good. This one is good. That's 10 gold. We're only crafting one item. Could I ever buy this? Not. Ah, it is good. No. I'd have to sell too much. I could sell one of these collars. Like, I'm desperate to win this round. Just depends if the opponent's strong. This is a good build, but if the opponent is strong, they're not really. They have a good amount of poison, but I don't think that's enough. And they have a good amount of max HP. They have a lot of max HP. I just realized how big that number is. God, those frogs. They got me up to 46 poison. They have 28 luck. Two Charizards. But look at that Falcon Blade. Just doing steady damage. Look at that axe. That axe is there. It's trying. It did not cause me to lose out on any hits yet, so that's good. And we're crafting an extra item, so we should do even better in the future. As long as they don't have fanfare. Okay. 
One heart. Anything kills me. Jeez. Jeez is really good with this sword. It's really expensive. Really, really expensive. Okay. Forget the cheese for right now. Cheese is not an option. Cheese is a luxury for people that are not on one heart. That is not me. I am not that people. Okay. So things that we want. These boots to go right here. Now, I guess it doesn't matter. I could just go with big triggers on this health potion. Okay. Big triggers on the health. Oh, except that it needs to be one of my star items. Okay. Flip it on its head. We will play upside down if it gets me an extra trigger. Good. Good, good, good. So now we have to think about everything upside down. I would like this second genie lamp. It's not a genie lamp. The second oil lamp. That is what I would like. I would like some gems. To get gems, this has to be in the bag. I would like... Oh, we did get the second sapphire. I'm missing two stars. This is looking better. Is there any reason to put this in? Eh, not really, but... Super Sword is here. We could do Falcon Blade Super Sword. Ripsaw is here. Ripsaw is better than the axe. Eh, uh, they're about equal. Ripsaw is just nice because it counters a couple strong things. Regen and spikes. It's not that nice. Someday they will have this build into something. That's not the gem I was looking for, but it's decent. Sell a flame? Ah, then I have to reposition. Worth it. So I would have to change up this armor. To do that, this bag can move wherever it needs to go. It's still a pain. Worth it. Worth it. Spike whip would be a lot better than this axe. The axe sells for three. Huh. Still trying to think of how I get this armor to go like this. To do that, with the bags that I currently have, is difficult. I like my potion setup. Ideally, I would move this armor over here. Does that solve it? Yes. Yes, it does. Cool. Now we're missing one star, and right now I'm crafting up that blue gem. Stamina has not been an issue yet. I think we're good. It would be good to get a stamina bag, though. I think that we are good. Anything I'm missing. It's mostly just, do I want thorn whip? I want fancy fencing rapier. Maybe hungry. Could be hungry. Those are my two options, I think. Hungry blade is an epic. We're both battle rage. You have a crown. You're about to trigger the crown, which is scary. There goes the crown. Not scary enough. They did have heart containers and they had vampire. So they could have healed back up with that crown open. But they only have a single puppy. That's not enough. Two heart containers though. Gingerbread Jerry. Use luck, heat, and mana to gain empower, regen, and max health. Gain 40 max health. It only costs four. The weird thing is, I do have a little bit of heat. And 
the genie lamp could be the other part of this trigger. It gets me the mana and the luck. It's decent. Empower is really good with this sword. How much money are we talking? With 14, I could buy this, this, and this. I got a topaz. Topaz is pretty cool. It's going to be such a pain to rearrange this. It's going to be such a pain. That axe. That axe. These potions are a total pain. Like, I almost see it, but I don't. This one would be able to go like this. But it can't fit there. What if I just found two stones? Do I have to take this blue out? It's such a big difference. I think I'm going to try the gingerbread. Gingerbread man. Start a battle every three seconds. I don't think that I could trigger this. Which is fine. That's not what I'm trying to use it for. Oh, but I could speed them both up if I touch them to the sword. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can trigger it. Does this become a problem for my stamina? Good. This will get me mana, which can help me with the genie lamp. We'll see. I might actually be able to proc the genie lamp. I have a lot of armor. You don't expect to. You never know, though. I would like the hungry blade at this point. Because I'm going to have a bunch of regen and I don't have much to do with it. I already had a bunch of regen. Yeah. Wonder if I should... Oh, I should switch out this ruby with this flawed sapphire. Oops. I could use the healing big time. The mana's nice. The frost isn't even going on. Okay, what's going on? Poison. There's snake. Okay, they're dead. Glad they didn't have serpent staff. Holy max HP. They have my weapon and it's doing big damage. They have a goobert. Just a plain goobert. They have a pig. Okay. So, that's the weapon that I want. How do I fit it? Don't know, but we're going to figure it out. Those are potions that I would like. This one is a must take. I think I have to rearrange everything. Ah, oh, I think it has to turn on its side. This might have to go vertical. No, because I'm using it as one of my trigger. I don't know. Also, that ruby would like to go into this now. Do I roll? Or do I use one of these potions? So this doesn't have to be in. 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 Technically, the gem box does not have to be in. That's how much space I have. That's a lot of space to work with. Things that do have to be in this blue. This green could go here. I was gonna pause. I should probably just pause. I think this sword has to, it's using or it's acting as one of my triggers. It is. This doesn't have to be here. This doesn't have to be here. I need more long bags. We need a four long bag right here. So wait, that kind of just solves everything. 
So now the tricky thing is getting this dragon scale to make sense. Oh. And the speed bags are what is messing with that. They're a good way to solve it. This doesn't have to be here. I kind of see a good way to solve it. So I think I would scoot these down. Move this up, move this up, move this up, move this up, move this up. I'm kind of screwing up one of these oil lamps, but maybe I can still fix it. It would be nice to be speeding up the fancy fencing rapier more. Oh, I'm also screwing this up. Could just speed up the gingerbread. I don't know if speeding up, or I could speed up the genie, which is just like purely good. Gingerbread might be good, I'm not sure. Okay, all of that. Wait is supposed to somehow help me. It does not help me. How was I thinking that that was going to help me? Okay. Keep figuring this out. So this can scoot down more. This can scoot right here. This can scoot here. Everything scoots. Multiple times. Scooting everything. Boots can go wherever they need to go. Why can't I scoot this down even further? Because then it's hard to get this armor to make sense. That was the whole plan, was to get that armor to make sense. This one could go... Who knows? Somewhere going to be hard to get two of these to hit this now. That's a problem. And the lamp. And the gingerbread. Maybe I'm not speeding up the gingerbread. Crap. Maybe I am speeding up the gingerbread. Can I at least get this to hit the sword? Crap. Yes, I could. It'd be better to be speeding this up, but I'm getting the accuracy up on both, which... Kind of good, kind of bad. Overall, I think this is workable. I should have paused for all of that. This is true, but I chose not to. Flame or forging hammer? Probably flame. Potions! Um, is there any chance stamina is a problem? There's a chance. Just in case it is. Would I put this? I'm gonna put it there. Put the flame... Oh, no, I'm not. That is one of my star items. Put it back. Put it back. Could take out the box and put in this flame. But I think we get the... Ah, I'm on one heart. I think we have the win. I believe it. Start the battle. These are full price. I don't need to reserve them. Okay, I no longer believe it. That's super scary. Holy crap, that's scary. They're gonna have a bunch of regen to feed the sword. They're dead. Oh, they're all courage puppies. They just do damage. Still, that could have been a lot of vampire if they were converting those hearts over quick enough. If it was other puppies, I guess I'm fine. Oh, this side is not very good. I guess for four space, 2.5 second cooldown, three sec... No, it's every two seconds. 0.94. I'm kind of surprised how badly they got beaten because all of these get sped up by the cat. That's a lot of puppies getting... Oh no, they're legendary. 
They're only godly once they get crafted. Okay, they are godlies. Except for this one. Damage reduction. I just do a lot of damage very quick. If you don't gain the defense. Put this back onto the screen. They do a good amount of damage, but I have defense unlike them. Okay. Cool. Okay, nine wins, one heart remaining, and there's a red ruby. It's a 16 cost red ruby, and it's so good. So good. It's so expensive. I want it. I have to make sure with the armor bags that at start of battle, I don't gain so much armor that I trigger these. Especially with the garlic. It would take a lot. Well, it would take two more after these two. Okay, so what am I doing? I would like to combine up this green. I guess I just go poison resist. I think I'm selling this flame. To buy the armor bag. I think I'm just buying this. It's really expensive. Would I put it into this one? I think I would. But I'm not sure. Yeah, because... Oh no, I only have one of the two lamps pointed at it. Can I get the second lamp pointed at it? Yeah. This thing, because it double attacks, scaling its damage is insanely good. If I could get this to trigger, I have to pay attention to what the ginger gingerbread is doing. Why does it have star items? Oh, triggers 20% faster for each food. Oh, oops. You're a food item. I knew that. Listen, I never take this item. Who the hell takes gingerbread jerry? It sounds mean, but you're not good, gingerbread jerry. Right now, it might be really good. This might be the exception. How much flame do I even have? Two, four, five, six, seven. Seven flames. Yeah, seven flames is pretty good. Okay. And 40 max HP. I'll take it. Start the battle. Yeah. Crap, they have rebirth. But only one rebirth, and they have huge scaling. Huge scaling and invulnerability is cheating. Ah, my least favorite thing about this Dark Lantern is that they're reincarnated with the invulnerability. Look at the damage that thing did. They were dead without the invulnerability. You can just see it, but that's... It's painful. Round lost, 7.95. That fire staff scales so quick. Zero, zero, zero. And I don't get to steal health with this. When did I go into battle rage? Okay, I went into battle rage pretty early, so that's good. We went in at three seconds for nine seconds. Three seconds is about as good as I could hope for, unless they're like a crit build that's going to instantly kill me. When we go in... God, they already do 74 damage. It was a crit, but still. 
Drink the health potions. I go up to 11 regen. They're doing damage. And then they're going to be reborn. That's the big problem. How much heat did... They didn't even have much heat. That's 13 heat. Oh no, it always rebirths them to half HP. I was thinking of the Phoenix. Okay. I was trying to think how they got that much. That fire staff. Um, did we go down two points? One point. Minus two. Okay. 70. Not good. Today was a rough day, but we only dropped five points. You know what? For two losses, I can live with that. For now. That is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching.